welcome. Uh, my name is uh, Leonardo. Um, um, today is the beginning of the Bicycle Check Athlon. Um, in this video, I'm going to show um, my attempt at resolving one of the issues, um, issue 84. Um, if you haven't heard about the Bicycle Check Athlon, um, it was announced on Twitter um, uh, by the bike conductor. Um, core team um, and uh, today there was the introductory uh, uh, welcome session at 11 a.m. US Eastern time. There's gonna be one more on Friday, I think also at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And on Thursday at, at noon, there's gonna be the Bike on the Developers Forum dedicated to this topic. Um, I'm just um, 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 part of the community. I'm not an official member of Bike Conductor. Um, so in this particular, in this tweet, uh, they link to uh, a wiki page uh, where they explain um, the main ideas of this um, bicycle check athon, um, and they have here the link so you can sign, uh, join in um, the bike conductor Slack workspace and communicate with other people. Um, one of the issues the, um, that I just made after that introductory section is issue 84. Um, the idea is that everyone can make issues and people can, uh, you know, the, uh, the bioconductor core team is going to label them um, whether they're in, uh, beginner, intermediate, or advanced. This one is um, uh, Mitesh labeled it as uh, advanced uh, and it's basically on something I've been working on already, so, um, um, so that's why I want to do it myself. Um, and uh, <clears throat> okay. So how do you actually do this, right? So you first need to uh, clone the repository. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab. Uh, I'm at github.com slash bikeconductor slash by should check. I'm gonna fork um, the repository. Um, and fork it, oh, looks like I already forked it. All right. Um, I wanna fork it into my own uh, GitHub account. Um, I need to uh, download this clone to my computer. So let's go to um, let's just do it here. Get clone. I'm doing it via the SSH mechanism. It has uh, once I'm here. I'm gonna use git checkout branch and then do the leg. Um, you have to give it a name. So in my case, it's gonna be at GitHub Action Workflow. Um, I'm using the minus V option uh, for uh, checking out a new branch. Um, you want to do this because it will make it easier to synchronize your, um, your fork with a main, main repository as things change. And um, over here, I'm putting a link uh, to a discussion. Um, on the blog down GitHub uh, repository uh, where um, uh, uh, Ji Hui Xie, he was explaining to me in March 2018 how to do this. Um, um, and yeah, it really greatly simplified um, uh, working on GitHub with other people. So here I've, uh, I've uh, checked this out. Um, I'm actually gonna open this on our studio so let's see if I can open um, um, uh, the files here. Um, so um, there's no R project file. So maybe I'll just create a new project. Um, let me say new project over here. Uh, um, I'm gonna say existing directory is, um, I need to browse to it, so let's and check. Um, we'll create project. So this will switch, uh, our student is gonna automatically switch um, the directory to um, the location it should work on uh, for this. Uh, bias and check. Um, Sticking a bit, I'm like um, using our studio on Zoom for my computer. It's always a little bit slow, so just bear with it. Um, 
Now, um, the actual issue, uh, while our student loads, the actual issue, issue 84, is about adding um, a GitHub action workflow for BICE check. Um, um, and you can do this already through the, what I was working on uh, before, which is this by see this package um, that has a function for doing so. Um, now I wanna edit the workflow, so I wanna make it a little bit more simple. So I don't want it to run on Mac or Windows. Um, and then I also, um, this particular R package uses R unit instead of test that for tests. So I need to, this is the first time I'm doing this, I need to figure out how to actually show those test results. Um, okay, um, and so at the same time, I was suggesting that idea, Luke Zapier on the Bioconductor um, Slack workspace, he suggested basically a very similar thing, and uh, then we started discussing about how to do this. Um, okay, so looks like we're loaded here. So let's see if I can run this. I might need to, I'm just setting up my, um, actually, let, let's see. Uh, I need to install from GitHub, if I see this package. Um, uh, this is happening because I'm just setting up my uh, Bioconductor 3.12 uh, set up in my own computer. Um, okay. Seems to be installing properly. Now that it's installed, um, I'm going to add the GitHub action uh, workflow. Um, um, oh, let's um, try to refresh this. That created a dot GitHub directory. Inside of it, created a workflows directory. And they created this um, check by a C YAML file. Um, so what I'm going to do is I, I don't want, actually want the, um, uh, the Mac and Windows, Windows tests. I'm going to delete all of those. Um, um, then uh, at the top, Instead of has does that, I'm gonna have call it has. Um, I'm gonna set it to false. Uh, I'm gonna set also this to false and package on to false. Um, just to make my life simpler so I don't have to edit as much code. Um, so this will run on both um, um, on both um, will run automatically on the bioconductor doctors. Um, so instead of here reveal test that details, I'm gonna just copy this and say um, um, like. on our unit tests. Um, we'll make it run always and um, we'll make this be um, a bit more involved. So we'll actually write some R code. So the shell will be our script zero. That will be our context context here. Um, so let's say um, so to actually run the tests we need to have um, um, IOC uh, IOC generics um, installed. You can install with remotes install underscore IOC or at this point, I already have YC Manager installed, so maybe that's the best way to install it. YC Manager installed by C Generics. Once that is installed, then we can run the tests. Now, how do you actually run this test? I was looking into the code um, on YC Check. You have a test directory. Inside the test directory, you have a run 
tests.r um, script, which I see they're using an unexported function from BIOS generics for running the tests. Um, and um, I actually already cloned it in my computer. Um, and then I saw, I cloned it by uh, going on my desktop, the cloning um, main repo, uh, accessing the directory, opening R, and then you can run the tests with just uh, any, you know, um, specifying any arguments. And that's because at this point, if I remember correctly, um, the bias, the GitHub Actions workflow is already inside the local clone of the BIOS check directory. Um, and then that will run all the tests, you get a bunch of output, and then at the end, it says like whether anything failed or not. So let's save this. Um, just so you know later on what version this is based on. Uh, over here of BIOS um, I'm just gonna go to the latest repo version here. Um, now, um, let's go on the D tab. Uh, I'm gonna click on commit. Um, so I wanna commit uh, the RBLD ignore modification. Uh, also the um, .github directory. And let's say, here, resolve, um, sorry, I'm gonna paste that link before I lose it. Um, I think it was issue 84. And they asked us to describe as, um, as verbose as possible. Um, so just making a little message here. Um, So we'll make that commit. Um, come on. Okay. Um, push it. Uh, well, before pushing it, we need to actually set the upstream. Um, so what this did is that uh, now on my local, on my clone on, um, um, on my clone, um, I can now, I have a new commit um, on that branch. So let's compare and pull requests. Um, so the base repository is a biconductor bias check. Uh, the one I'm merging from is mine uh, fork under the branch at GitHub Action Workflow. Um, let's preview my little message here. That's the same one I did. And so let's uh, okay. So let me just um, create a pull request. And then at this point, um, or back to the back and the bias and check. There's a pull request here and it says uh, resolve number 84. If we go back to 84 and I refresh it um, to issue 84, we'll see that uh, there's a, a link over here already. And so um, that's basically the purpose of the hackathon. Um, um, cool. Um, then we'll see if, yeah, maybe later, they're gonna review my uh, pull request later and maybe there's stuff I missed that I need to add, but that's how you would try to do these things. Awesome, that's it. Um, hopefully this video will be helpful to other people um, participating in the Biosecheck Hathathon. Um,
I used to check Athen or uh, work in a bike doctor later on. Cool, see you, bye.